Wow, what have I got here, friends? A gift my daughter has just given me over here. Nice present over here. Thank you very much. Should I turn the gift down or not? Of course, it's my daughter. I'm not going to turn it down. She'll look after it at the moment. But that's all we're talking about, friends, in today's page of the Gemara. Page 138 of Masechet Baba Batra. We're talking all about turning down a gift. Obviously, I didn't do that in that case. Over here, she made a little, lot of effort over here. But what about, what's the laws within regards to turning down a gift? What right does a person have to turn down a gift that is given to him? So let's say, in a case where someone writes, let's say, a legal document, giving his property to another person, if that person refuses to accept it and says, I don't want it, he could say, I don't want it. We find two different statements of it. Now, Rabbi Yehuda quotes Shmuel as saying that the property belongs to him, even if he is shouting his opposition. However, Rabbi Yochanan is going to say that he has successfully turned down the present. Then, Rabbi Abba Bar Memel says that there is not really a disagreement over here. It depends whether the objection was voiced immediately, in which case he never accepted the gift, or if he was quiet at first and only later on raised his voice to object over here. Now, the general attitude of the Gemara is that Zaken le Adam shelo be fa nav over here, fa nav, that something beneficial can be given to a person even when he is not present. Now, the Rashbam explains that a person over here can refuse to accept a gift if he voices his objection right away. He's got to. Because we do not view a gift as something that can be assumed to be to his benefit. Based, there's a passage, a pasuk in Sefer Mishle, in the book of Proverbs, in chapter 15, verse 27, that teaches that someone who detests presence will Live. Okay, there's famous jokes within regards to this statement in itself. Mishle, I'll leave it to you through such. But what will be the status of the property if it was rejected by the recipient of the present? So based on Reish Lakish's opinion in the Gemara, in Karetot, in page 24 Aleph, it appears that such property becomes hefka, ownerless at that point in time. So someone hates gifts and wants to make it say he doesn't have it, now all of a sudden it becomes Hefka. It's uh, all up for grabs. It is ownerless and anyone who takes it first becomes an owner. However, the Rashbam and others understand that case to be similar to ours. Where the potential recipient objected immediately to accepting the gift, in such a case, although he never takes possession of the property, nevertheless it has left the possession of the original owner and is therefore left ownerless over here. So it's, uh, let's say, the problem is if someone gives something like to to, you know, to show off our rich years and gives it to someone else to make them feel bad, they've got to accept it. And then they say, we don't want it. And it becomes owners and their enemy takes it, for example. You know, what was the point? You could argue. Most of the Rishonim, however, view Rish Lakish ruling applicable only in a case where the potential recipient was first quiet and only objected at later time. It is only in such case where the property can be viewed as having left the possession of the original owner. So I've taken this from the fantastic notes, friends, of Rabbi Adin Steinzel, Sechet Sadli Bracha, brilliant notes and brilliant combination of the Koren Talmud Babli entire edition. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom. We're about to enter Shabbat Parashat Lech Lecha. Uh, we pray that everyone is safe in Amsterdam because there was, uh, unfortunately, uh, r- uh, it's in the headlines of all the news, uh, some sort of a pogrom that had taken place after a football match. So pray for everyone's safety, immediate return. And Bez Roshem, just safety for the whole world and blessings. Wishing you all Shabbat Shalom and take care.